Thank you both so much. It's time now to switch gears to a very serious topic and something that is so personal to our next guest, the life-threatening act of hazing. I'd like to welcome Rayanne and Steve Groover uh, to the show. Right now, they've been on the show for the last few years, but they want to share your story and some life-saving education. I'm so happy we're in person this year, yes. not Zooming. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Um, tell us Max's story for anyone who hasn't been watching. Well, our son, Max Groover, um, went away to college in the fall of 2017 to LSU and he was just pledging a fraternity and 29 days into his freshman year he was killed during a hazing activity at the Phi Delta Theta house um, where he was forced to consume. Mm. Many things happened that night but for the sake of time he was forced to consume in about an hour and a half 190 proof grain alcohol. Mm. Um, his blood alcohol the next day was a 0.496, which oh is God. six times the legal limit at which a person's considered legally impaired. So Max literally died from alcohol poisoning with aspiration, 100% um, senseless and preventable death because hazing should not be happening to join any organization no, anywhere. No, no. And how are you changing lives through this story? Um, we have traveled across the country for the, about the last four and a half years uh, since Max's death, talking to college students, talking yes. to high school students, to junior high students. But we've talked to well over 150,000 students at this point and educators about the dangers of hazing, what hazing is, what to watch out for, what you can do to keep yourself and all of your friends safe, and when to step in in these situations if they are happening yeah. before something goes terribly bad. Yeah, and I'm glad you said junior high because I know unfortunate of some cases where you know someone trying to show off at a party a, a, an older yes. student is encouraging somebody younger much yes. younger and this has just got to stop and it, your foundation is helping in so many ways but the education component has got to be is so important as you as you are traveling and yes. um, let's talk a little bit more about that yeah so the education is extremely important and as we just referenced it it needs to get at the high school level yes. at least if not in the junior high level so we're developing programs to with the fight out of thetas to get to the high school level and really just let folks know that they just believe that hazing is it's Kinda not harmless, it's, harmless yeah. right? it's, it's something that is blase and it's it's you know um, in movies, you know, they, they make it sound cool, right? So letting folks know that it is not part of any of our organization's values or ethics, letting them know that it's against the law, right. and letting them know that it, it can kill people. Right, and speaking of law, mm -hmm. let's talk about that because you are working to change hazing laws. Tell yes. me about the progress, what's happening now? Um, we're right here in Georgia, we have the Max Coover Act that went into effect in uh, the summer of 2021. Uh, the part we got uh, put through was the transparency, so colleges across the state of Georgia have to be transparent in any any so, uh, student conduct violation that an organization might have. Um, we are going to go back in session in January with Senator Albers to um, try to make the hazing law strengthen into a felony. And then we also, um, we want education, literally from K through 12, yeah. and then obviously in the higher ed, to be mandatory across the country, like bullying education, vaping education. Say. It's right in there with it. It needs to it's be talked about. It's a form of about. bullying. Yes, yes, it is. And it needs to be talked about. And these young adults and kids need to be educated on it right as, as soon as possible so they can start recognizing it. And at a federal level, we're working with um, Representative Lucy McBath. She's the lead Good. sponsor mm -hmm. for the End yes. All Hazing Act, which creates transparency. So it's like a truth and advertising act so that folks will know, students will know the transgressions and if a, if a organization actually hazed before joining them Excellent. so that they, they know what they're getting into. Exactly. They know who the bad actors are before they join an organization. Wonderful. And I just always appreciate so much of you coming on. I know it's not easy sharing your story, but you're helping so many people, so many parents. Where can we go to learn more? What can our viewers do as a next step? Well, definitely go on uh, maxgroverfoundation.com. You can find out more information, get in touch with us. We are looking to very much expand in the state of Georgia, the high school education. Um, reach out to us if your high school or organization would be interested in us coming to speak or we can send you materials to get out. Like we get uh, our hazing magazine out to um, high school seniors like at Roswell High School, Blessed Trinity, Marist, um, all over. But it's just getting that education into the hands of high schoolers yes. and we're happy to help 
bridge that so that we can get this moving and get these kids educated, especially before they even go off to college. Absolutely. Thank you both so much for your time. And we'd like to thank the Max Gruber Foundation for sponsoring that important segment.